In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all the ways to get ores in Clash of Clans, the most efficient ways to do so, and then my recommendations for maximizing ores for all Town Hall levels in Clash of Clans. Let's first discuss every single way that you can get ores in Clash of Clans on paper, and then talk about the efficiencies you can use to maximize it. The first way is to receive them through the star bonuses, which you can receive up to once per day. The second way is through Clan Wars and through your attacks in clan wars based on the war weight. The third way is through the trader's market and the fourth is through gems or spending real life money. Starting with the star bonuses, it already gets really interesting. Most people will probably assume that you just want to be in the highest league possible because that way you can get the most amount of ores per day. But doing this will not only put stress on you to maintain that league, but it'll also make it really hard for you to get really good loot. So where do we draw the balance and is it the same for every town hall level now i've charted out the different loot league bonuses so you guys get a better idea of what i'm talking about it's relatively linear until we hit champion one where we get a spike in both the shiny and the glowy ores thus i've interpreted this data for you and made recommendations for everybody based on their town hall level for town hall 8 to town hall 11 just focus on getting to the highest league possible and then unlocking sneaky goblins so that you can push and farm easier in general. For Town Hall 11 to Town Hall 13, I think Low Master and Crystal is a good place to be simply because it'll be easy to maintain, you'll get good ores, and you'll get tons of loot. And for my Town Hall 14s, it really does depend on how much time you have. If you have tons of time, then go all the way to Titans 1 or Titans 2. You're going to get terrible loot, but you can farm a lot since you have tons of time. If you don't have tons of time, just stay in Master 3. You're going to get decent ores every single day and you're going to get really good loot. For Town Hall 15s and Town Hall 16s, the idea is the same if you have time. Go to Titans 1 and 2 and just farm there a lot. But if you don't have that much time as a Town Hall 15 or a Town Hall 16, I would actually recommend that you go to Low Legends League and just maintain there. This will give you a good amount of loot for the time that you have and you'll actually be able to survive there unlike a Town Hall 14. And the best part about Legends League is you're going to get the maximum amount of ores that you can get every single day. Moving on to the wars and how you can get ores from there, it gets a little interesting. Now based on your town hall level, you're going to get a certain amount of ores if you win and a certain amount if you lose. Now as you can see from the chart in the background, you do get a little bit more of the shiny ores every single time you go up in town hall level, but it's not a lot more. The glowy ores are literally a linear rate, so it just goes up by one every single time you upgrade your town hall. What about the difference between winning a war and losing a war though? Is this going to be significant and do we need to start actually prioritizing winning those wars? Now when it comes to shiny ores, the difference is literally 2.34 times for every single town hall level, so you get 2.34 times more shiny ores if you win. That isn't that bad of a difference when it comes to shiny ores, but the difference between the glowy ores wins and losses is absolute insanity. The difference ranges from 20 to 30 times for some town hall levels and from 13 to 18 times on the higher town hall levels. This is a ridiculous difference and I'm going to make a video later on talking about the difference in the importance of both of these. I just can't do it. I don't have the values yet. But the difference in the importance of both of these and this could be a really critical factor for that. But there's one thing that we can't hide from anymore. Wars now really do matter and we want to win as many of them as we can. I wouldn't want rushers or any clans to really be worried though because I think personally in my experience 90% of wars are won on literally participation alone. So try to ensure that your entire clan is attacking when you guys are running wars. And because we get brand new rewards for this update, it should be pretty easy to motivate people to attack. Now despite whether you're winning or losing the wars though, there's one thing that is beyond argument. Maximum efficiency is basically running back to back wars 
wars all the time. There should literally be no excuse for any clan to not war all the time now. But how can you win wars if your heroes are going to be down to upgrade all the time? This is a problem, right? Well, yes. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure how to deal with this yet because I don't really know what the level difference and I haven't really compared the levels to the equipment yet. So it's going to be really hard for me to say something right now. However, if you don't invest into your heroes, you're not going to win many wars. So it's a double whammy. Delaying your heroes makes you lose your hero upgrade time and it can potentially cost you a lot of wars in the future. So I would still upgrade those heroes. Now we were told that there would be trader shop offers or offers that you can get from the shop for auras. But as far as I can tell, I haven't seen anything yet. We'll simply just have to keep an eye out to see if these ever do come about. Okay, now that we've gone over all the ways that you guys can get ores in the game, let's go over the two most common ways. That is the star bonus and the clan war. And let's go ahead and compare them as well. The reason we're doing this is so that we can see if one is more important and thus shift our focus towards it. Let's use a Town Hall 11 and a Town Hall 16 for our comparison. A Town Hall 11 who wins in clan war gets 560 shiny and 24 glowy ores. That's 280 shiny and and 12 glowy ores per day because wars take two days to complete. Now let's say the Town Hall 11 is in gold 1 which is I think a more than fair league for this example. This means that they'll get 350 shiny and 16 glowy ores a day. So in this example the Town Hall 11 is getting 70 more shiny ores and 4 more glowy ores every single day from the star bonus. So this is a little bit better especially considering that you don't need to win a war to get that bonus. On the other hand and for the Town Hall 16 who wins a war, they get 1,110 shiny ores and 39 glowy ores, which comes out to 565 shiny ores and 19.5 glowy ores per day. However, a Town Hall 16 at Titans 1 will get 925 shiny and 50 glowy ores per day, which is 39% more shiny ores and 256% more glowy ores, which is absolutely insane. We can thus conclude that the star bonus is the best way for you to get more ores when it comes to the free methods of getting more ores. One thing we haven't talked about thus far in the video though is the starry ore type, which will only come out during special events as far as I know. Now I can't analyze these because they haven't come out yet but with Christmas right around the corner I wouldn't be surprised if we got brand new events that gave us starry ores. And of course I'll give you guys the literal best breakdown when these things do come out so if that's something that you want to see make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now moving on I've seen a lot of comments on the channel and in different places about Clash of Clans becoming pay to win now and I really quickly just wanted to address this. There's some discontent with the fact that you can gem some of the ores or maybe buy them in the future. But look, check this out. There's literal free ways that you can go about getting ores and then there's ways that you can pay to accelerate you getting ores. In that regard, these new resources aren't really that different, right? We can literally do that with the resources we have in game right now. We can also do that with the magic items that we have. So is this really that different from the things we already have? So I know it's early and I'll definitely keep an eye on it, but don't let the fact that you can buy ores discourage you from having fun with literally what I think is one of the best updates that Clash of Clans has ever had in its lifetime. Now even though you guys now know how to maximize the ores that you can get in Clash of Clans, it's not going to do much for you if you don't know how to maximize the time reductions. That's why you need to watch this video right here so you know how to maximize the time reductions and get to those higher levels so you can get more ores in Clash of Clans. 